Welcome to Aquator Technology TV. Did you ever imagine that our moon, the celestial body that has been a constant in our night sky, holds a secret that could revolutionize space travel? Unbeknownst to many, a significant discovery made in 2009 confirmed the existence of water on the moon. This revelation has far-reaching implications, not least of which is the potential to fundamentally alter the trajectory of space exploration. Water, a seemingly ordinary substance on Earth, takes on extraordinary value in the vast uncharted territories of outer space. It is not just a vital necessity for human life, but a potential source of oxygen, an essential element for human survival beyond our planet's atmosphere. But the possibilities don't stop there. Water can also be converted into a hydrogen fuel source. This could potentially solve one of the biggest challenges in space travel, the need for a sustainable, reliable fuel source that can be obtained and used outside of Earth. Imagine the implications. Longer, more sustainable space missions. The ability to venture further into the cosmos than ever before. The potential to discover new worlds, new civilizations, new possibilities. All of this could be within our grasp, thanks to the water hidden on the moon. And then, of course, there's the prospect of a lunar base. The discovery of water on the moon brings us one step closer to the establishment of a permanent human presence on the moon. A lunar base could serve as a launching pad for missions to other parts of the solar system, a scientific research station, or even a future habitat for humanity. The discovery of water on the moon has opened a door to possibilities that were once the stuff of science fiction. But this is just the beginning of our lunar journey. The moon's hidden treasure is no longer a secret, and its potential is just beginning to be tapped. As we stand on the precipice of this new era of lunar exploration, we can only imagine the possibilities that lie ahead. Fast forward to August 2023, and the race was on to return to the lunar South Pole. The stakes were high, with Russia and India vying for the glory of a successful lunar landing. The two nations took very different paths to the moon. Russia, leveraging its long history of space exploration, launched their Luna 25 probe. Meanwhile, India, having only recently emerged as a major player in the space arena, launched their own probe towards the lunar South Pole. But the path to the moon, as it turns out, is fraught with challenges. Russia's Luna 25, which had promised much, ended in a catastrophic crash. The probe's failure was a stark reminder of the risks involved in space exploration. Just four days later, the Indian probe touched down successfully on the moon's surface, marking a significant achievement for the nation. While Russia and India were battling it out, NASA was also making strides in its plans to return to the moon. In fact, preparations were in full swing for a much-anticipated return to the lunar surface. The moon was no longer a distant, unattainable object, but a destination within reach. The surge of interest in lunar missions was not restricted to governmental space agencies. The private sector, too, was setting its sights on the moon. Projections for future lunar missions were on the rise. What was once estimated to be 250 private and public lunar missions over the next 10 years had now risen to 400. It seemed the moon was becoming an increasingly popular destination. The moon is set to become the most coveted real estate not on Earth, and the competition is fierce. But as we've seen, not all attempts to reach it are successful. As the new space race continues to heat up, the moon stands as a testament to human ambition and the enduring allure of the unknown. Russia and India weren't the only nations with their eyes on the moon. China also had its sights set on our celestial neighbor. With a space program that has been steadily gaining momentum, China has been making significant strides in its lunar ambitions. But the moon, it seems, is not without its own share of controversies. Recently, China disputed India's claim of being the first nation to land on the lunar South Pole, adding a new twist to the ongoing lunar saga. The moon, particularly at South Pole, is a tantalizing prospect for these spacefaring nations. Rich in resources and strategically located, the South Pole is seen as the key to unlocking the moon's potential. But landing there is no easy task. The terrain is treacherously uneven, littered with craters that can be kilometers deep. The temperatures too are extreme, plummeting to as low as minus 200 degrees Celsius. And the sun, sitting low over the horizon, casts long, dark shadows that make it challenging for lunar lander sensors to accurately gauge the depth of these craters. Despite these daunting challenges, the allure of the moon remains irresistible. For China, the stakes are high. 
Its lunar ambitions are not just about resource acquisition, but also about asserting its presence in the new space race. A successful lunar landing would be a testament to its technological prowess and a significant milestone in its space exploration journey. While the moon may seem so close, landing there is no small feat. But for the nations determined to unlock its secrets, no challenge is too great. The quest for lunar exploration isn't just a matter of technological capability, it's also a question of cost. The recent race to the moon's south pole between India and Russia provides an illuminating case study. India, on one hand, managed to land their probe successfully at the moon's south pole, spending a mere $73 million on their mission. It's a sum that, in the grand scheme of lunar exploration, could be considered a bargain. India's cost-effective approach to space exploration is an example of frugality and resource management at its best. Now let's consider Russia. Their attempt to reach the same destination ended in a crash landing, with the cost of their mission being almost three times that of India's, at $200 million. Despite the higher investment, their mission didn't achieve the desired result. To put these figures in perspective, let's bring in the usual costs of NASA missions. It's not unusual for NASA to spend in the billions on their space missions. The Mars 2020 Perseverance rover mission, for example, had a price tag of approximately $2.7 billion. So, what does this tell us? Well, it's clear that the financial investment required for lunar exploration is significant. However, it also shows that with careful planning, efficient use of resources, and perhaps a touch of audacity, it's possible to achieve remarkable results without astronomical expenditures. The cost of reaching the moon is astronomical, but as India has shown, it is possible to conduct successful missions without breaking the bank. As we look forward, the moon continues to captivate us, promising untold possibilities. The race to explore and harness its resources is not just a testament to human curiosity and ambition, but also to our drive to expand our horizons. The moon, our closest celestial neighbor, is an enticing gateway to the broader cosmos. India's successful landing on the lunar south pole, an area believed to be rich in water and other valuable resources, has sparked imaginations worldwide. This success opens the door to the possibility of human habitation on the moon. Imagine, if you will, a lunar base from where we could launch missions to further planets. Moreover, the water ice on the moon could be converted into fuel, propelling our spacecraft to Mars and beyond. Indeed, the moon could serve as a pivotal stepping stone in our quest to become an interplanetary species. Now let us turn to the implications of the US Commercial Space Launch Competitiveness Act. This act, which allows companies to legally mine materials in space, could transform the landscape of lunar exploration. With private companies entering the fray, we are likely to see an acceleration in technological advancements and a surge in lunar missions. The moon, once solely the domain of government space agencies, is now a new frontier for private enterprise. Moreover, the commercialization of space exploration could drive down costs and make space more accessible. This would not just be a boon for scientists and researchers, but also for ordinary people who dream of experiencing the moon's desolate beauty firsthand. In this scenario, lunar tourism could become a reality within our lifetimes. The moon, once a distant dream, is now within our reach. As we continue to explore, who knows what other secrets it may reveal. As we venture further into space, we are not just discovering new worlds, but also expanding the boundaries of what is possible. The future of lunar exploration is bright, and we are just at the dawn of this exciting new era. From the discovery of water on the moon to the ongoing space race, our journey to the moon has been one of discovery, competition, and unending fascination. We've traveled from the revelation of hidden lunar water, a resource that could prove invaluable for future space exploration, to the thrilling contest between nations, each vying for their place in the lunar landscape. India, demonstrating impressive prowess, became the first nation to land successfully on the moon's south pole, an area rich with potential for future colonization and mining. Russia, despite its storied legacy in space exploration, faced a setback, while China diligently progresses towards its space goals. The cost of these missions is staggering, but the potential rewards both in terms of knowledge and resources, are immense. The moon, once thought barren and lifeless, is now seen as a treasure trove of possibilities and the next frontier for human endeavor. Indeed, the projections for future lunar missions have skyrocketed, 
with the moon fast becoming the most sought after real estate not on earth. The race is on, not just among nations but among private companies as well, all eager to stake their claim in this new era of space exploration. As we continue to gaze at the moon we can only wonder what the future holds. But one thing is certain, the moon's story is far from over. Until next time please like and subscribe to Aquator Technologies for more videos like this one.